What's up guys, Austin Newman here with Learning 5 where you can learn After Effects tutorials in just 5 minutes or less. Today we're going to be learning about the wiggle expression, something you can use to add a little bit of extra value to your MoGraph videos. It's super simple and you could do something like this in less than 60 seconds. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Command N on Mac to bring up a new composition, 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. Those are my settings, just so you know. I'm going to go over here to my shape layer and I'm going to use fill just so I can make a little ball or something like that. So on the eclipse tool. We're going to go ahead and hold down shift and drag out to make a perfectly round circle. Eh, that size is about good. Now let's go down here and hit enter on this layer and just name this ball just for organization purposes. While you have this layer selected, hit P to bring up position. Alt click on the stopwatch. That's going to bring up your expression. So this is where you actually type in your value. Let's go ahead and do the wiggle expression. So type out wiggle open parentheses. Now the first value is going to be for the speed. So let's do a value of three. The second value, you put a comma here, the second value is going to be how much you want this ball to move around in that time. So let's say 300, just to make it really erratic. And then go ahead and close that parentheses and click off of that. Let's go ahead and hit our motion blur on for both of these layers and voila, that is how you do the wiggle expression. Let me show you another application in which you can use this if you wanted to kind of do something with a still photograph or make something that was shot on sticks look like it was handheld. So I have this really moody photo of my hand that I took earlier just for the purposes of this tutorial. So this is a still photograph and I added a little bit of wiggle. It was a closer shot so I made it a little bit more shaky. But if you want to do something on a tripod, you can add it to this and it's super simple just to kind of make something come to life a little bit more. Let me show you other things that you can use other than position. So back to this ball here. Let's go ahead and say that we wanted it to be like a flashlight or a strobe light or something. Hit T on your keyboard to bring up opacity. Alt click on this stopwatch. Let's also do the wiggle expression, wiggle, open parentheses. Let's go ahead and do a value of maybe two 100. And there you go. Now what it's going to do is it's going to flash on and off barely, just like this. So it's something that you can do with a lot of different values. You can use the wiggle expression. It needs to be your best friend if you're going to do MoGraph. So definitely keep this wiggle expression in your toolbox. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, go ahead and drop me a like. Subscribe to this channel for more quick, easy After Effects tutorials. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram, at Austin Makes Films. I'd love to connect with you all and see what you all are working on, so make sure to tag me in some of your MoGraph stuff. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.